Welcome back to this series where I'm talking all things generative AI and how to rank on Google. If you do not have access to Claude and you're in Europe, please watch the video that I released yesterday. It will show you how to get access to Claude, even if you're in Europe. This is going to be a continuation of this playlist right here. If you are someone who wants to learn about how to rank on Google using either ChatGPT or Claude, it doesn't actually really make a difference then this playlist is still highly relevant because it's just a lot of tactics and keyword stuff, et cetera, et cetera, and also content generation. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Claude and I'm going to be talking about why it is looking like it might be better than ChatGPT for a few different reasons. So there, were, there are some problems with ChatGPT currently that are very, very frustrating. First of all, the context window is very, very small, which means if you want to put a lot of information into the prompt, then the output is going to be affected because it's going to have to be shorter because the context is so long. And then also another problem with ChatGPT is it, it pretends to not understand word count. Now, we all know that this is probably something that OpenAI have done specifically to save tokens, considering the amount of money they are burning through every day. But basically, the output has always seemed very, very lackluster on ChatGPT. Not the actual writing, but the output. You would have to play games. You would have to say, write part one of this outline, and then part two, and then part three, and part four, etc. But what Claude does, which is much nicer, is if you say, write 5,000 words, it'll write 4,900 words. It will write almost 5,000, sometimes more than 5,000. And also, it has a huge input window or context window of 100,000 tokens, which is significantly bigger. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I was quite frustrated at times with ChatGPT and the, these problems that I found with it. But basically, in this video, we're going to be taking one of my older prompts and we're going to be putting it into the new playlist because I think it's still highly relevant. But the really, really cool thing is the internal links. So first of all, let's see how to get the internal links. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find your sitemap. This is isuit.it slash sitemaps slash Google sitemap custom pages. We have a few problems with our sitemaps. As you can see right here, it's actually pointing to new.isuit.it, which is a problem for sure. I only noticed this when I tried to make this video before. What I want you to do is I want you to go to sheets.new make an account if you don't have one or just sign in with your Gmail and then do control shift V and then right click here and sort Z to A. Now, if you're wondering what we're doing, we're getting our internal links. Okay. You can do this in a number of different ways. You could use Ahrefs. You could use search console. This is just the way that I personally like to do it. So we'll scroll down, click on the first LOC. So for me, it's line 1000. So it says, uh, What's that curly bracket thing called? I don't even know, Chevron maybe, LOC. And then scroll all the way down until you see the end of the LOC, hold shift and click and then control C and then control A and then delete. And then scroll all the way back up to the top and do a control V again. This is gonna be a prompt maker. I'm basically, this is how I do my prompts, okay? I'm just, I haven't actually shown this before. Um, then we want to do control F, click on these three dots and we want to find Chevron LOC. It is an opening tag. So without the slash HTTPS, you do not need to have your website here. You can have it if you want, but it's really not necessary. So we'll get rid of this and we'll do replace all. And then we'll do the same thing with the closing lock tag like that. Replace all. Now we have a nice clean list of internal links. What I want you to do is click on the number one here, right click and insert one row uh, above and then get whatever prompt you want um, that has something relevant to internal links. This is the prompt I'm gonna be using. I'll leave this as an example in the description. And then you wanna click, this part's not necessary, but I like to do this. Click on format, wrapping, wrap, and then make the A column a little bit bigger. Now we have something that we can easily just copy and paste into Claude, just like this. And remember, even if you have maybe 4,000 pages, 3,000 pages, I'm pretty sure Claude is gonna be able to handle this. So we're now gonna control V like this, perfect. And what we're gonna say, this is quite a cool thing because it's such a long input, it inputs it as a paste.text, which gives a space to then give it another command, which I'm gonna say, do not invent any 
internal links. Use a maximum of 10 internal, mm, 15 internal links. Write a 5,000 word article. Um, you, okay, so you can give it a topic here. So you could say like about, about black tie attire, for example. But what I've recently been doing, and I think this is quite good practice, this is important to do all of your pillar pages and you don't necessarily know what your pillar pages are going to be. So obviously you've already done your research and if you're following this playlist, you've already done it, but let's, let's pretend you haven't. And I think it's quite a good thing to just let Claude and ChatGPT do their thing. So let's say article about classic menswear, which can drive a lot of traffic to my website. Remember to SEO optimize it. Please use a few tables and lists to break up walls of text. Okay, and then we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so the content here is absolutely amazing and it's gonna be really, really long, but it's not doing internal links, unfortunately. So I'm gonna actually stop it there because internal links are pretty important to my process. And we'll try this again with the same prompt. So we'll um, put this prompt here like that. Go back up. So we'll try this again. And this time we'll say, do not forget to use internal links with keyword rich anchor text which will help me increase the seo of my entire website and then when he's copied the prompt again i'll leave all of this in the description okay and then we'll send that so I really like the output here. Uh, I think people might be right about Claude. I think it might be better than ChatGPT 3.5 or 4. It's a little bit slower, but like overall, I think the content is actually better. It It's also taking into account the context of the internal links a little bit better, which is nice. It's doing a good job with internal links with this uh, prompt specifically. I've done a few tests with Claude and I found that if you don't prompt it properly, it won't internal link properly, internally link properly. It's better to just give the internal links and for it to understand the context from the internal links instead of telling it to create its own. But yeah, this seems pretty good, to be honest with you. The content definitely seems like it would rank on Google. And yeah, this is a really, really good way for free to create pillar pages for your website. So yeah, it's it's really impressed me there with the context. Mother of Pearl Buttons. This is not something that is mentioned on any of the internal links, but it is something that pretty much only Kiton and a few other companies do. I know a lot of people use fake Mother of Pearl Buttons, but yeah, there aren't that many companies that use real ones. So that's really, really interesting. It's going through everything. It's given me tables, which is exactly what I wanted. It's given me a lot of lists. All of this is good HTML that Google can read and it can say this website is providing more value because it has a table, it has a list, et cetera, et cetera. And as you can see, it's not stopping anytime soon. It's just continuing to write. It's already written a lot of the content. It's done a lot of internal links already, but not too many because I did say that in the prompt. And yeah, overall, I'm pretty impressed. Now, just as an aside here, I would like to say that just because something is longer doesn't mean it's going to rank better, okay? So do be really, really careful with that because a lot of people think that if you don't have 5,000 words because Surfer SEO tells you you need 5,000 words, it's not going to rank on Google. That's not always the case. It's sometimes the case, okay? But it's not always the case. Now, the final test is to see the word count here. So let's go to wordcounter.net, plug it in. And we shall see. It's only 2,000 words. So it is very, very far under what I asked it for. But it is still 2,000 words. So that's quite nice. 
I wonder why though, because I did this last night and it did write everything I wanted. So this is only 2,000 words. Why? <laughs> To be honest with you though, 2,000 words is still significantly better than what ChatGPT gives you. It's done a really, really good job of tables. It hasn't spammed them. There are a lot of lists here, but I mean, this is kind of an article that would have a lot of lists. I just said to it, which is probably a way to get it to write 5,000 words. This is only 2,000 words. Why? You're right. My apologies. Here is an expanded 5,000 word of the classic menswear article. I'm going to leave this to run while I go and eat. And then after we shall see. Okay, so that worked. I did have to say once to continue, but other than that, it just did everything itself. So let's get a, a word count on this. Overall, long form content. If that's what you need for your article, then it's looking like Claude might be better than ChatGPT. This looks really, really long. Let's go to word counter. Let's see. Moment of truth. Yeah, we'll take that. 4,800 words. Absolutely crazy. This is great for pillar posts and broad niche posts like a complete guide to classic menswear, which every classic menswear website should have. And it's something we don't actually have right now on um, iSuit. So that's super, super interesting. Overall, looks like a good spread of internal links as well, which is nice to see. Good use of tables, good use of lists. This is something that you could very easily add to yourself with some images, and it will definitely rank on Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.